So usually when I'm doing a save system, I actually want to have a save system built in the global script. If you don't know how to set up a global script, something that could be accessed anywhere, I have a video linked in the iCode. So all this save thing is doing is it has the head, body, legs, run, child, and it's saving those all to the save path. The save path is going to be the go.default. If you do this save, it'll take you to the, or it'll save it automatically in a good place for you. So I have on ready, call the load data, which is down here. And then whenever I want, I call the save data. All the save data is doing is taking all of those variables, turning it into a single dictionary, and just saving that. So it takes file, file.new, and then I have error equals file.open, save path, file.write. This is if I'm going to be writing to that. There's a file read, file write. The error is just to check if it opens correctly. So if it opened correctly, file.storyval or storyver data. And that's just going to be this. And then you want to make sure you go ahead and close that afterwards. And that's basically all you need to do to save data. Loading data is also quite similar, especially when you're doing simple data such as this. File, file.new. If file exists, save path. So if it doesn't exist, you don't want to try loading it. So this is going to prevent it from erroring out. Then it opens at that save path in a file.read. If it's going to error, error won't equal OK. But if it doesn't error, meaning the file exists, it's able to pull all the data from it, then it just gets the var. You want to basically get the same way you store. If you're going to store different things, there's store bool, get bool, different things like that. So get var, data equals that file.close. Then you just do it as if it were a dictionary, just like this. Data of head, head equals that, body equals that, legs equal that. Now in some cases you may have a data of location, like if you're saving the location the player is saved in and you want to put the player back there, you're going to get that location and then you're going to call down and tell the players to set his position there. So that's going to be a bit more complex, but it all, it all follows this principle. So saving and loading is really simple. If you want to call this, it's actually quite simple. You just do the variable name. This was described in the global variables tutorial I had. But you just do the global name. And in this case, you could even just do global dot save data. And because all the values I have are in the global, that's going to work. You don't need to pass anything to it as long as all the values are in the global. You can pass things to it. It works just like a normal function. And yeah, that's saving data. And if you didn't know, I ended up setting up a Discord. This is a good place for us to just chat, for you to get info on the server and also my YouTube channel. A place for you to give me suggestions on both the server and YouTube channel. And a place to post your personal projects and tutorials that you find great or personally just tutorials that you make. I would love to see you over here. Just come out and say hi if you want to.